Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the process of setting up an SSH account on HTTP Injector to help you achieve a secure and reliable internet connection. If you're in search of a fast and secure browsing experience, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to visit our blog for more VPN tricks and tips. Now let's get started. First things first, we need to create an SSH account. Open your browser and type in SSH Ocean. In the search results, click the official SSH Ocean website link. Once you're on the homepage, head over to the upper right corner and click the menu button to expand the options. Next, select services. A new window will pop up. Click SSH web at the top to access the SSH server list. Here, you can choose your desired server location Make sure the server you select is available and online. Once you've found your server, click the Create button. On the final page, enter your desired username and password, complete the CAPTCHA, and click Create Now. Within a few seconds, your SSH server account will be ready for use. Copy the host or IP, your username, password, and the payload for future use. Next, we need to download the latest version of the HTTP Injector app. Go to the Play Store on your Android device search for HTTP Injector, and download the app. Once it's installed, launch the app. Once you're on the home screen of HTTP Injector, click the arrow icon at the top right corner to access the settings menu. Here you'll find options for configuring the tunnel type and connection protocols. For our setup, choose SSH as the tunnel type and HTTP proxy as the connection type. If needed, you can also check the custom payload box. Now, Click on the gear icon to open SSH settings. Paste the host data you copied earlier and set the port to 80, or use another port if your server specifies one. Then enter your username and password. Once everything is filled in, return to the home screen. On the home page, paste the invalid payload into the payload box. Now, let's add a remote proxy. Click the pencil icon to open a new window, then add the IP or host and the port. Use 80 or any other port provided by the server. Once you've entered the correct information, click the Save button. Once all the details are correctly entered, click the Start button on the home screen. This will initiate a secure web connection. And that's it. You're all set up. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching.